Hello world, this is Pia Zizi asking here. <clears throat> and uh, it sounds like you people really want a Fisher Cube tutorial. Um, I've only got two votes on there and there's the poll has actually not ended yet. However, um, I think that just because, you know, stuff, I am going to do a tutorial anyway. So, i um, getting ready to go over to Walmart and uh, maybe, I don't know, hopefully, yeah, I'm pretty sure I am, and while I'm there, I'm going to get a cube and, um, do, depending on the current conditions, uh, I'll try and make the uh, actual tutorial as soon as I possibly can, so yeah, but, um, I'll be back, uh, here we go. So if you want to get a new Rubik's Cube for this product, um, if you're, they seem to have disappeared from your Walmart, then just check the preschool aisle because, ironically, they're moved there. I don't know why, but that's where they are in my Walmart. I don't know why. See, like, Rubik's Cube, and then we got a bunch of stupid, crappy preschool stuff. So, yeah. So, just, yeah, here we go. We'll just get this one. Okay, so now, um, eventually we're going to turn this into a fisher cube, so, you know, I'll be back. <coughs> and while you're at it, you might want to go get some filler, too, so, just let you know. That's the tie-dye. We're going to get some of that for duct tape, but then... Anyway, why I'm showing you duct tape is because at my Walmart, this is where the filler is. Where is it? Spawns. Okay, sorry. Yeah, a pop, um, that kind of filler. It's like four bucks. We'll probably get two of those, maybe. We'll see. So, the rumor came true. Interesting. No idea. And also, while you're at it, you might want to get some different sandpapers. Um, I have one of these, but I can't use it. But you might want to get some big sheets of medium sandpaper, or just all clear, or just me, these days, so yeah, or whatever the heck, yeah, it's good sandpaper too, because you're going to need that too, so, yeah. Well guys, I did not mean to do that, uh, if that took forever to load, it was because I accidentally filmed it in the highest quality setting on my camera. So, you got a really good quality video, but man, that's that's going to be hard on my internet because it can't really tolerate such high quality. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, this is the lowest quality, so that's why it might look a little bit sloppy, but um, just to show you a little something here, it is 8.20 and at night, which means I am not going to be able to make the tutorial today. However, um, I'm probably going to wait until next weekend to do it, but I'll just show you all I got, just so that way you can kind of be aware of things, um, just for review, so I got a, um, a Rubik's Cube that we're going to be turning into a Fisher Cube, maybe, we'll see, um, we also got, um, two tubes of, uh, Loctite brand filling, Filler, however you say it. Filler, yeah. Uh, as you can see, it just looks like that. So, um, this is all I got. Um, this is really all I needed to get. And here we have the receipt, so I can show the grand total. Um, so, we got a, a Rubik's Cube and two things of epoxy, which grand total is located right there. 1886. So, that is how much that cost me. However, you probably will not be buying a Rubik's Cube, a brand new Rubik's Cube for your Fisher Cube, but you might need to buy filler, so uh, that should cost you about $8. It's, it's not expensive stuff at all. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to set this stuff aside, and we've got here my old Rubik's Cube that is currently my main one. However, we're going to see which one of the which of these are going to turn into a fisher cube because you never know. This one might turn out to be 
amazing, and this one just might be stupid. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and find that out. Let me get something, and we're going to go ahead and uh, turn to this. So. There is tape along the side. Oh, here it is. I guess I cut to it. Uh, I guess I did. It's just... There we are. The power of the X-Acto knife. I didn't even know I cut anything. I thought, uh, I thought that it had already been opened, but... Maybe it has, because... I don't know. Yeah, it was pretty sharp. And we just... This guy using that knife anyway. Sorry that. Being offered some cheesecake that I will definitely get after. Darn! Uh, this is kinda... Whatever. This is... Alright, there's a cube. And a stand. I got another one of these. These things are pretty freaking awesome. Okay. And then, another inside the box. Or whatever you want to call that <laughs> we've got the alleged instruction manual has okay uh... which one of these is this is obviously the old one because of the way it feels this is the new one so oh my gosh dude is oh my gosh i think i am going to use this one for the fisher cube no. Um, this thing is like, seriously, wow, what, is to Walmart that carries the best cubes or something? Because like, I'm noticing people who buy their cubes from Walmart, always end up getting good cubes, and this is like, an amazing thing. What in the he- I, good, I just popped that off of like, no problems. Pretty nice. So I'm going to definitely be using my old cube for the, um, thing. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I still had a Rubik's Cube left over after I did the tutorial. Okay, um, so we also got this epoxy. And I'm going to really quickly, just in case you don't know, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and just give you a little bit of a heads up as to how this works. It's, it's, um, it took me a while to figure out, but it's not too hard, so I'm going to open this up. And two of epoxy pops and the actual epoxy. This is a paste. And as you can see, as I peel off that little protective sticker, I'm also warning you this stuff smells horrible. You'll notice that it has a blue outside and a white core. And um Actually, should I? Yeah, I'm going to go and leave that on, so. But it's very easy to do. All you see those, the white core and the blue outside. Um, what you want to do is you take a piece of it, and you want to make sure you get some of, both, a little bit of each. So, let me see. Did, could I, should I just cut this with the exacto knife? Or would that ruin it? Hmm. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to take those out and then you mix it together you want to mix the things together until it's like all of it is the same shade of like it's like a, a bluish white color there's directions on the back of the packaging on how you use it I'll be doing I'll be giving you a better explanation in the actual tutorial but um, yeah I just wanted to kind of show you and what you do is when you mix those up that's kind of how the chemical reaction starts and then you put it in whatever you're trying to fill and then it will you know, it'll set, and, oh, uh, yeah. This stuff claims that it only takes five minutes to set, so, oh, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and, um, adios.